Hello people, ZeroLogic85 once again, um, also known as Undead X Nemesis on Xbox Live. And I'm bringing the second part of the Soul Calibur V character creation mode, uh, how to make your character flicker or spin uh, prop items and stuff like that. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, uh, I basically showed how to create a, a cylinder to flicker on the sides and to spin on the top for a female character. Um, basically, I put it on their head to make it look kind of strange and unusual. But anyway, uh, this video I will be showing off the male character and how to put a box on their head and make it flicker like crazy. As you can see, the front um, by the way, his name is Mr. Flicker, so I have Mrs. Flicker and Mr. Flicker. Um, the front is, you know, going all crazy, so it's the top and the back. I haven't figured out how to get the sides to flicker, but I created this weird, as you, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like kind of jagging a little bit, the uh, top and bottom, the black and white are kind of, they're not flickering, but they're still going a bit crazy. But anyway, um, let's... Just like the first one, let's go create a new character. No, I do not want to save. Go to original character. Now, I haven't tried doing... Um, something I forgot to say is I haven't tried doing these on original... Not original characters, but the, uh, the characters that already exist. Because uh, I'm guessing some of them won't work because they have equipment and, uh, you know, long hair. Or their, their body structure is different, basically. So, let's create a male character, and again, so that it blends better into the, uh, the top piece, I'm going to make him all black. This is not racist at all, I assure you. And then uh, go to body, go to face doesn't matter, you know, I don't mess with the, I don't, both the first one, the female and the male, I don't mess with the body weight at all, so just keep it at normal. Um, go to hair, make him bald. You can also do buzz cut if you want, but there's no real point if you're going to cover their head. Equipment, same thing as before, rectangle, I'm sorry, uh, box, box, box. And this is how you're going to uh, adjust the equipment. First thing you're, wanting, you're going to want to do is go to the box one, keep it on head, go to uh, vertical negative 36 then for the back you're gonna go negative 3 and just max out length max out width max out depth girth all that good shit uh, second one same thing as before Negative 36. Oops. Negative 3. Width. Length. Depth. And then the last one, same thing. Negative 36. Negative 3. Width. Length. We're actually going to go back and uh, adjust it. It's just What I do is I max it all out so it's um, aligned perfectly, and then I just adjust it from there once I change the colors. Um, the third one, you're going to want to rotate, actually. Um, you want to go negative 90. I'll explain why in a second. So go back, the palettes, colors. Again, this doesn't work with patterns. Right. Have the first piece be all white. Uh, I can just keep it all blue. Third piece, the same thing, all white. And go back to the menu. Go back to the equipment. Go to your first box. And just like the cylinder, you're going to go with I'm sorry, yeah, um, it was, that was actually a length, but for the male character with the box, width, you're going to go 90%, I'm sorry, not 49, one decimal below 50, one decimal below 50, 
and that should create a flicker effect uh, with these little diagonal uh, triangles on the corners. But you don't want that. We're not finished. So, All right, for box two, we uh, we actually don't do anything. This one is where you're going to make major adjustments. So you're going to want to go to width 48, and that should create the first piece. The uh, the front piece should be flickering like crazy. All right. Then for length, you're going to go to 47. And that should create the top, front, and bottom. I'm oh, sorry, and back. Actually, I don't know, does it flicker? Yeah, it flickers on the bottom too. Um, to flicker. Now, the reason I say rotate to negative 90 is if you put it on zero, now this is optional, but it doesn't really, it doesn't give it a, a, an effect on the side. You still get the top, bottom, and front, but. If you go negative 90, even though it doesn't flicker, it still creates like a crazy illusion, jaggery effect. You probably can't see it on the camera, but once you create the once you create this character, or you know, any character with a box for a head or on their body or anything like that, you will see what I mean. So, so yeah, that is how you create Box Man or TV Static Head Man. Oh, and uh, just like the cylinder one, you can change the color to whatever you like. Green, yellow, red. Oh, red looks great. Yeah, red looks pretty cool. As you can see, like I said before, the patterns, I don't know why, but it doesn't flicker. Like, it's just... It's just printed on there like that, and it doesn't it doesn't flicker at all. So yeah, patterns don't work at all, unfortunately, which is a shame because I wanted to make a rainbow-looking pattern. And the first uh, first prop block box. Yeah, slurring my words again. Um, like I said, you can change any color, so you can go red and blue. And the third one should cut up, should do the sides. You make that red as well. I'm gonna go yellow. Yellow looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, that is how you make a male box, head, man, TV, head, man, whatever you want to call it, flicker and spin, um, there's no clip glitch, it's pretty awesome. I will upload more videos uh, if I find any more glitches in the CAS mode, character creation mode for Soul Calibur 5. Uh, hope you guys liked both this video and the first parter, and uh, I will be uploading some more videos, I got more time since I'm off school now, so I'll be uploading more videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, again, happy creations, and hope to see you online.